Welcome fellow indie players to Indie Games for Fun. Ah, what an awesome day to play some Holocure once again. Yesterday we passed the 300 mark and I am extremely grateful everyone who subscribed to the channel. Thanks to that the channel transition is started and until I have some, you know, information to share about it we are just going to blast games as usually. A few days ago I polled you about who should I play next and it was a really interesting poll because first, uh, you know, Fauna was on top and uh, for a few days it seemed like that she's going to be the next character we are going to check out, but Democracy showed its true power so today we are going to check out Hakos Biles or Hakos Biles, not sure how to pronounce it, so let's, you know, call her Biles just to be extremely sure. The thing is, uh, I played with this character once, uh, off stream, off video, it was really cool but you know, nothing extra I've done with her, so today I decided to blast a like a quote unquote marathon episode because we are going to try to complete the first three levels in a row. So let's read out how she plays and then you know, jump right into the game. I got some really nice suggestions, what you should look for. Uh, by playing her, trying to keep it in mind, and let's hope you know the best outcome. So, the main attack is throw out a die. The number on the die determines the damage. The thing is, uh, when I first saw this, uh, you know, ability, I was extremely happy because I really like dice. One of my favorite mechanics in all games. Maybe that's why I like role-playing games that much. And when I saw that uh, she's throwing dice out, well, okay. She's going to be my main after a while, I guess. We will see. And here is a special called Absolute Chaos. Launch all current weapons with zero delay for five seconds. So seems like we should get as many weapons as soon as possible. Not sure, we will see how this turns out. And I also have an outfit for her, so I'm just going to choose that one. Go to the stage mode, you know, enable some tempera just to be sure, as you can see. First level is already cleared, but I'm just going to you know, replay it because it was like, I don't know, two, two weeks ago, whatever. I really don't remember anything. So yes, we are throwing out dice, which is a really, really cool stuff. Uh, you said that she's a glass cannon, a fast glass cannon. So I really have to, you know, try to stay away from the enemies and try to stay alive. Uh, what I don't know is, yes, okay, so the outcome of the dice will increase or decrease the damage that we are dealing, okay. So, Rat and G, reduce all damage taken by 15%, uh, but increase crit chance by 30. I do think that this is a really good start for a character like this. And, you know, the projectile is just going through all the enemies that it hits, or maybe not all, but most of them. What is the other weapon we have? It's play dice, increase weapon damage by 30%. I do think that uh, we cannot go wrong with some nice, you know, oops, uh, damage increase. I thought that uh, I can, you know, one hit the dead beat, but uh, that was not the case because the RNG just tricked me. Hmm, okay. Stuff is uh, getting interesting already. So try to get some levels as fast as possible while of course I am maintaining my distance and what it seems like is a good idea to you know line the enemies up so I can blast the projectile through all of them now we are throwing two dice so uh, you know it's it's just getting better and better outfit looks amazing okay so we have down under attacks have a 10% chance to cause the target to be upside down for two seconds while upside down the target cannot move. Okay, so we are doing some staggering kind of like stun. So they cannot overwhelm us. I'm not sure if this can be applied to like multiple targets at the same time. So we, we will see how this works. But it's definitely a great thing because in this case we have like a better option to get away all those nasty enemies because when they try to overrun us we can just you know tell them to go upside down. Uh, reduce old attack damage by 7% uh, but increase the crit chance by 30. Yes please. So seems like that we need some critical chance because our damage is like 
pretty RNG, like, you know, the six-sided dice, the classic six-sided dice, so every outcome has like a 16.66% chance to come out. Okay, let's see the... Ooh, okay, wow. And now we only have one weapon, so let's see what, what happens when we have like five. Critical hits we roll the same percentage chance against again to deal an extended critical hit, dealing three uh, times damage. Uh, yes, please. I mean, wh why wouldn't we? Play dice level four. Ooh. I, I'm going to call her dice cannon instead of glass cannon. Let's, uh, you know, we can add a small knock knockback. 15% uh, chance to cause target to upside down or increase the critical chance. I am just really going to increase the critical chance as much as I can, and then we will do the rest, I think. Wow, she's doing extremely big damage, just like after two and a half minutes. It's pretty brutal. But it seems like we do not possess any like defensive ability yet, so. Critical, critical, that's the, wait, that was the name of the spell? Awesome. So I'm pretty sure she's some kind of rat, I guess, based on the rat NG and all the stuff. Or maybe that, uh, you know, her fans are rats, I'm not sure. Uh, all healing is doubled. Hmm, not a bad idea, but, you know, let's, uh, let's add a small knockback, so there's a bigger chance that we can get away from them. Ooh, like, we're doing, like, more than 100 damage. Increase the attack size. Yes, please. You know, extremely big dice to throw out. Really cool. And we have, like, a minute to increase damage by 30%. You know, to get that nice special back. So let's see what we can do uh, against the the second elite. Okay, so play dice. We can throw free dice. Yes, and now uh, the colors are different because they are awakened. Mm, I, you know, I like the white uh, with the black dots, but the red one with the white dots is also really cool. They look a bit more, you know, like casino-ish vibe, which I do not really like, but it doesn't matter. Until we are throwing our dice, it really doesn't matter. The color does not matter at all. Okay, so let's see. Extreme, extremely cool damage. But we have kind of low, low HP, so how about a knockback or gain one? percent crit buff every second up to 10%. If taking damage by a target, lose half of the buff with uh, eating food, plus 5% uh, crit for 10 seconds. I think that's a good idea. So like crit, 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 and uh, eventually we will max out all the skills that she can has, and uh, also really cool stuff. Okay. Wow. <laughs> Okay, uh, sake level two. And hollow bomb, cool. This is like, I don't know, a uh, dice gun, <laughs> if if, uh, if that's a real thing. We kind of invented dice gun here. Okay, ooh, that's cool. I know that I got a lot of, uh, you know, extra stuff that I bought in the shop to have some power-ups. And maybe that's why we are doing extreme amount of damage, but 200, 300 damage by default is just ooh, pretty cool. Increase haste and uh, speed by 40%, but reduce the max HP. Ooh, no, I don't want to reduce more HP because it seems like that we, we already have not too much HP. But of course, if I can maintain my distance, well, HP doesn't matter at all. But, you know, if I can get some food, more crit is going to be up and my HP is not getting depleted, so should be great. Okay, we are going to... No, 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 no. Uh, let's remove and then strengthen. So, bigger one. Bigger stuff. We have an anvil. Let's upgrade the bomb. Ooh, cool. Ooh. So now stuff is getting faster. And the chickens are doing the nasty stuff, so let's try to avoid them. 
by getting some extra levels. And of course, I'm just going to, you know, ask the same, just like every other time. You know, I really need the down under because it's a cool stuff to see that enemies are just cannot move for a little while and uh, they just, you know, are getting upside down. I do not know anything about that, uh, you know, specific character. Uh, and uh, as far as I know, she's also an English, uh, English speaking Hollow Life character. So if you have anything to share with me about her, you know, why she's a rat, if I am getting this correctly, uh, what's with the dice? Uh, may, you know, the main question is, what's with the dice? Why the dice? That's the main one. And, uh, you know, everything about her backstory, mm, cool stuff to watch from her, whatever. So, if you are a uh, Bales fan, Bales? Bales? I don't know, Bales, I guess. Uh, speed up. Mm, yeah. Because we can we can move away faster from them, so that should be okay. And let's gain some more like sake stuff. <laughs> it's really cool to see when you know enemies are upside down and trying to move, and their legs are just moving in the air without moving anywhere. Extremely great. Okay, uh, let's you know let's get the whole bomb to max. And there were some uh, collab suggestions to look for, and the flattening board was one of them. And uh, I do kind of do understand why, because while we are just dropping stuff out, uh, and just flattening them, is preventing them to move. Is it a really cool combo? Okay, so now we have ooh, max maxed out the size of the projectiles. Awesome! Ooh, really great. This is like a really nice decimation run. Okay, so spider cooking because I think spider cooking was one of the materials for the flattening board. Uh, I do not remember, unfortunately. Okay, uh, level six, okay, seven. So it's maxed out. Okay, not using the special yet because I have to wait for the elite because we can face roll it down, steam roll it down, and it just feels extremely cool. Special cooldown, yes, some idle costume is always great. Because the special is extremely brutal. Uh, uh, you know, in her case, times two, times ten, or, or whatever times, so... It would be really awesome to see how, like, you know, four weapons are going to do against a simple elite enemy. Okay. What I'm not aware of that if you know if, if you level up uh, with other characters your HP is getting increased by default or or this is not happening. Ooh look at this. Add a costume. See the delivery, some glow stick. You that's just you know it's not going to be boring ever. Oh, and if I, you know, eat, also the crit is going up by 5% extra. Or maybe more, because we got more more levels in the sake. Okay. Uh, you know, let's uh, bring the reduction, the cooldown reduction, to the maximum with the idle costume. So we can blast as many specials as we'd like to. Okay. Uh, you know, spider cooking. So now, this is the overwhelming part. So let's try to get out of those shieldy deadbeats. So their agenda is, you know, getting denied. Haha, <laughs> cool. Okay, some sweet experience that we left here. We're going to get. Ooh, no. Spider cooking. I'm still getting a, you know, little bit uh, shaky when the controller is starting to vibrate, and uh, it took me, you know, it, it takes me for like a one second uh, cooldown to understand that no, that was just the the special, so no worries at all. Reduce the time between attacks. Yes. I mean, it feels like that we are kind of lucky with the stamps because you know, like projectile. Uh, 
size and cast speed or attack speed in this case I'm not sure if there's a difference uh, it's just extremely cool for this character in my opinion so it's a really cool first run and we have half of the you know the stage left so let's see if we can do like a pretty brutal build that will decimate the enemies okay uh you know idol costume level five maybe i am uh you know over tuning it a little bit but who knows okay spider cooking so let's wait for the zilla yes i mean that was extremely cool. Spider cooking to max. Get all the XP. Uh, we lose the mistaken. Cutting board because we need the flattening one. Uh, glow stick. Okay. No, no. <laughs> wow, they are running upside down. Awesome. Glow stick. We still have like, you know, 89 HP. That's interesting. Maybe I should look for some some extra you know extra HP just to be sure. But it do feels like that uh, everything's under control right now, so maybe for stage two it's going to be a necessary change. Because based on my uh, you know memories that stage two is uh, can be a little bit overwhelming a few times. Awesome. Just a flurry of dice is extremely cool. Get some food, so a little bit more crit chance up there. Really like to see that, you know, nice purple numbers just popping up every single time with many, many exclamation marks. Purple is one of my favorite, uh, you know, colors of all time, so it's going to be a main part of the new, like, style of the channel. Okay, Ooh, get the rats. I have to, you know, I have to take down my own fans because they look like rats to me. So, pretty sure they are uh, Bale's fans. So, okay, uh, almost there. Let's get another food. So maybe some food drop increase also a good idea with her, so I can just keep up the extra five percent crit every single time maybe it's maybe it's a good one let's, let's look for that on that this is the part when uh, the timer changes so the the elites are coming at like 13th minute so let's just get her some extra stuff can i get the special back sure i guess i really hope that i can Ooh. oops some some stuttering with the special. Yeah, they you know they warned me that they hope I have a decent computer because sometimes a special can be a pretty you know draining stuff on the CPU or the GPU whatever. I I have like a pretty decent gaming laptop. I wouldn't say that it's like just to negate one hit and create a shockwave that knocks all. Uh, yeah, maybe some knockback, I guess. So reducing the chance to get damaged is always great with a character like this, and maybe some, you know, knockback is always cool. So we can like blast more more projectiles against them. Ooh, let's get the let's get the special, please. Okay, cool. Yes, take take those dice. Awesome. Uh, let's you know max out the glowing stick and then the flattening oh no the cutting board because flattening board is a different one so I have a pretty I would say decent gaming laptop I wouldn't say you know top of the line but you know it shouldn't be a problem maybe here and there there will be some soldering with the extreme amount of projectiles but it doesn't matter it you know just give some uh, extra you know, depth to the game because we are just 
blasting enormous amount of dice and no one can handle the dice, I guess, in that amount or whatever. I mean, let's make a little lore behind this and uh, everything is uh, going to be awesome. Okay. Special is, you know, loading back extremely fast. This cannot be better, basically. Of course, if we have, like, uh, special every single second, but, you know, it would be just cheating, so, no, no, I would, I would not ask for that at all. Let's see, pretty solid crit chance, crit damage around, around 200 every single time, so it's, it's extremely cool. And I do understand why some uh, movement speed would be advised on this character. So we can avoid and uh, blast them at the same time. I just want to wait with the special. Like 15 seconds shouldn't be a big problem. Let's do some slalom between them. Okay. Uh, get this. And now they are here. Two, two, of the, two of the big ones are coming this time, right? Yep. So get the extra. And now, blast. Ooh. Look at this. I mean, haha, <laughs> and they just, you know, got knocked out. House upside down for you. Headphones. Okay. Some extra stuff. Great. And there's a chance to do a collab, which is going to be the board. Yes! Okay, cool. Woohoo! Awesome. Just flatten everyone. Let's increase some uh, headphones, headphone levels. It would be awesome if you get a headphone, for example, and you increase the level that the music of the game is uh, getting louder by, you know, 5% or maybe and if you're blasting it on 100% by default at the end you will have like 130% music you know level or whatever maybe it wouldn't be the best idea but it would be extremely great so now that we have uh, the special that uh, blasts all the weapons uh, maybe I should get a another one to fill out all the you know fill up all the item slots so we will have in you know some extra blasting thing so, you know let's let's do this I don't want to get stuck Oof. awesome fan beam that character is just you know I always say that oh it's a really cool character to play it's extremely fun but I, I have to say that this one is currently the most fun I've ever blasted. I mean, Umei was also really cool. But, uh, you know, maybe just the fact that, you know, throwing dice around and that's my wheelhouse, but <laughs> it's just cool. You know, it's a ranged one, blasting free projectiles that is piercing enemies, a uh, chance to cause explosion that hits nearby targets. I mean, why not? Exploding dice, say no more. Uh, da, 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 da. Psycho X, so we have another one. And there should be an elite. Where is the elite? No. It's going to come at like 18. Never mind. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, that, that was that was kind of flashy. My uh, I just stinged for a little second, but in a good way, of course. Uh, increase HP. Should we? I mean, I just want to be sure. Ooh, here's the one. That was a tricky one. I use my special because you you were late. Screw you. She looks a bit angry, by the way. Or maybe you know just. I don't know. Determined. Let, let's go with determined. Why, why would be she angry, you know? She's having a blast. Rolling out dice everywhere. Who would be 
You know, it would be like, um, I don't know, sad or angry if you can do this. Running around, throwing dice on different type of enemies, and, you know, having, living the life. Okay. So, let's go with the, the axe. Used a uh, special. Oof, man. Okay, that's going to be my uh, favorite stuff so far. What is that? Okay. Another, another X level. And I do not remember if if there's a last elite before the boss comes or, or no. I kind of forgot what's the layout here. It doesn't matter because I'm just going to blast the special just once before the boss comes. So this should be okay. It's like wax. Okay, and do it. Wow! Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Blasting living clocks uh, who's wearing crowns with dice. With extremely big dice. Um, you know, if someone asks how was your day, i definitely going to tell them. You know, blasted some living clocks with uh, huge dice, but, you know, nothing extra. Like a standard Wednesday. Hopefully. It's going to be my standard Wednesdays from now. So can I keep them away? Yeah, seems like that. And we have the special back to use. Great. Extremely great. And now let's see how fast we can burst. <laughs> oh my god. You know, she was just running in the air upside down. It was extremely cool, but also a little bit sad. Like, you know, seeing that she was kind of helpless. Okay, so, but you know, no stopping. As I said, same outfit, stage mode. Hulu office, just let me sip a little coke. Not that one, the normal one. And let's see. So you know with the um, the maid the maid costume was a really good idea. I'm going to keep uh, keep that. Hopefully it's going to drop really soon at the beginning. But I'm just going to try different uh, loadouts. So how about, I don't know, anchors, just beginning. So like an extra projectile that we are throwing next to the dice. Some extra goodness. Uh, play dice, of course. Get the XP. And uh, down under, because now these enemies are seemingly faster than the other ones. Or maybe the place is a bit more crowded. Not sure about this. But it's going to be harder, I do do feel like. So, critical. Okay, yeah, that was critical. Because rat, I guess. Wait, I... Wait, I brought another... A, a different uh, outfit. Okay. I misclicked, I guess. Doesn't matter. So, let's get the anvil. Uh, level up the dice. Ooh. That's going to be a close one. More crits. And let's focus on the bombs because uh, they do like nasty stuff. Get the XP. No, that was money. And uh, try to break their lines. So we won't get uh, overwhelmed and some rat and G. That could be like a name of, uh, I don't know, a restaurant. Rat and G. Not sure what's okay. No, of course we're not serving rat meat, but I'm not sure. Sounds great. So maybe, mm hmm, 
increased XP gain. Yeah, we cannot go bad with the researchers' classes in neither of characters, I guess. So, okay. So I'm not going to blast the food because we do not have sake right now to utilize the extra 5% crit chance. But it's always good to see that we have some extra backup when uh, stuff goes wrong. Okay, another anchors. And uh, I don't know. Maybe bump up the chance with some anvil. Oops, uh, I went too close. Uh, let's see dice. Now we have two of them. Ooh, okay, the pickup range is, uh, is a little bit bigger than I <laughs> remembered, so... That was, uh... Kind of on purpose, but never mind. Okay. Some tactical stuff. Reduce the mage taken, uh, by it ends and the speed by 10% when attack, there's a different chance to attackers. Uh, the speed is pretty decent, but I do feel that we need a fail switch if uh, something goes bad, like I just, you know, run into the wall or get cornered or whatever. Oh, that was, uh, that was food. Never mind. So we, we can, uh, you know, blast back a double damage with a really great chance. Ooh, uh, wait, I can shoot through the walls. Wow, cool. Okay, uh, crit up and no red NG. Of course, crit up is uh, going to be really useful later. Or eventually. No, no. We don't need those bombs or whatever. What? Ooh, there's a magnetic one. We have to get back. So get away. Get away. We need this. Uh oh. Maybe after some elite kills. Okay. Okay, maybe that wasn't too wise to wait with the special. No, no, no. We don't need uh, some cornering stuff. Ooh, okay. So now I'm going to stand here, pull for the best outcome, and when the timer hits four minutes, and when the big one comes, uh, some knockback, and now blast it. Haha. Ooh. Okay, it wasn't quite there, but we were able to do this. And curse. Uh, red and G. Play dice. Don't deny my, uh, you know, magnetic one. Get away from me. You running uh, Onikiri heads. Yes. Now, now we are going to talk. So, down under two levels. Immediately. Oof. Some staggering by the amount of enemies. Yes. It's just extremely satisfying to see those purple numbers going up and up and up. Yes. Great one. Okay, so let's single out one of those flying ones. They're coming in waves. Cool. Big amount. Curse. Get the flying cats down. Oh yeah, there's a stamp. Which is going to be chance of slow targets. Um, I don't see why that wouldn't be, you know, like beneficial for us. And curse. It's you know just popping over the enemy, it's searching those ones. So cool one. Woo. I don't want to use my special. I know that. It would be wiser to blast it on cooldown, but uh, you know we got those uh, nice glowing stars, so we, we were able to get special really fast. But I feel safer when I have special when the elite is coming because I can you know like face roll it or steam roll it, 
why do I use interchangeably steamroll and face roll? Because it's two really different stuff. Blacksmith's gear. And we need... Ooh, damn it, that was a waste. Never mind. So I really need another weapon after this one. Okay, let's use it. Take it. Yes. Okay. Okay, pill. Why the special meter is still charging. Increase crit. Ooh, yes. Taking some pills. The good ones, I guess. Oof. Yes, 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 yes. That's, that's going to be great. Okay, now we have to, you know, use some pills as well, but, you know, breastplate. Just a little bit of a breastplate here and there. Okay. It's really cool that three projectiles are getting shot and just going through the enemies and the anchors is just bouncing between those enemies to, you know, finish the job. Feels really cool. Maybe it's you know not that cool. Maybe it's only me. Ooh, okay. Chance to cause explosion. Yeah, why not? Can we run away? Yes, really great. Not sure what should we you know look for, hope for next. The projectile uh, increase, size increase, or or some uh, cooldown reduction, not sure. Ooh, 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 get away, okay. And thanks to the pails, now I am going to blast the special on cooldown. Uh, you know, Psycho X, we need some extra weapons. Because uh, while, uh, you know, charging, we have extra crit chance or crit damage, so. Now I have a good reason to blast it on cooldown. <laughs> they are... Wow, they are flying upside down. Wow. That's, that's pretty funny. And now that I am listening to this song for like... I don't know, 6th, 7th time. I do have to say it's really cool. I am liking it more and more every single time I listen to it so ha <laughs> and now it's you know it looks like a green a green stuff it's pretty funny because the onigiri guy when it's green it looks like a mushroom or a rotten onigiri or over seasoned onigiri which uh, is okay but the rotten one is uh, maybe not the best idea to consume, so we are taking, you know, keeping our distance from them. Okay. Uh, oh yes, idol costume. Yes, please. So, so me maybe the main focus should be, you know, besides crit, uh, the way to blast the special as much as I want to, and. Uh, while waiting to charge back, we have a nice elevated crit chance. Whoop. Almost. <laughs> okay. The head is just bouncing upside down. Yes, we have the size increase. No! God damn it! I screwed up. No, I screwed up. I saw the size, the size increase. You know, that's the only... That's the only downside of the controller. Because sometimes you cannot see what the actual heck you're doing. And I was kind of in talking nonsense and I <laughs> saw so, so the size increase. Damn it, man. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Costume upgrade. So faster special. Doesn't matter. You know. You cannot have it all, I guess. Ooh. Nasty bombs. Let's get away. Do the special. Please, you know. Clear the way. I am with dice. Thank you. 
awesome. Ooh, two boxes. Ooh, special is back then. Uh, see you, steers. Bless the special once again. Chance to reduce attack and defense of targets. Sure, why not? And if we find something that is uh, better, in our opinion, then we will we will just change the stamp. Uh, see you, steers. Level two. Ooh. Here's the big one. So can we? Oh yes. No, no. We don't need uh, nasty stuff. Thank you. I mean, we are doing nasty stuff as well, but that's us, not you. <laughs> wow, it's really creepy. Also, the the enemy is pretty creepy, but uh, like just having having her on on, his, on her heads, just like. <laughs> Uh, doubles the creepiness because it makes it more like uh, unnatural looking I don't know but also funny at the same time of course uh, you know spider cooking why not the more weapons the better yes some food so we still have max HP everything says every everything's okay I do know English Damage for empty each rep, each empty weapon slot. We only have one, so no. This is going to be something that uh, strengthens a uh, already present stem. Okay, uh, the tears. Uh -huh, okay, so I don't think so. We don't need marks. Let's just increase the slowing stuff, the slowing effect. Ooh, we have a special. <sighs> Look at that decimation. Wow. I I know. I now I get it why it's called Chaos. Unleash Chaos or what was that? Seal Tears. Almost almost max level. Okay, we do not need food, but it's good to have some of this. It's really hard to keep uh, you know the news about the channel for myself I just really want to you know share with you guys but I do have a kind of like a roadmap in my head so I don't want to spoil everything uh, at the same you know just just for like one occasion so no I uh, put it up on the community tab yesterday that the thing is that uh, ooh, okay so how about uh, more pills, yes. Uh, no, uh, more idol costume, yes. So um, I do have a really specific plan, what to do, uh, from you know color schemes to all the, you know, the, the, the style, the design, the narrative. Let's call it narrative. Uh, but there, there will be some uh, you know community-driven elements. <laughs> Okay, so we are turning into a sprinkler now. Cool. That uh, I'm going to ask your opinion. It's like, you know, small small stuff, but it's going to be significant. So, so I really hope that we can, uh, you know, build something that uh, everyone's going to enjoy and uh, there are going to be stuff that you can decide what should be. So there's going to be a main color. For example, okay, let's let's share this one. For example, bomb stamp. Uh, ba ba ba. Okay, so that's going to be a main color, which is uh, which is purple. I'm not going to tell uh, what is going to be purple besides the main color, but there's going to be a secondary one uh, because we're talking about two, uh, you know. Uh, identical stuff that needs to be colored and for the second color I'm going to ask you guys to uh, you know help me what color should be the second one that I'm not telling right away what is it but it's going to be a poll up there more than for like you know a, lo a long one so everyone could share their uh, you know ideas and stuff uh, there will be some like you know options that you can choose from and uh, all the great stuff, but you know, there will be some smaller things as well. 
Okay. This one is uh, additional shoot range multi-shot weapons. I mean, that, that would be a really great idea. So how about... Uh, let's swap this. And now let's uh, strengthen this. Two additional shots. So it's like five... V the second. Five dice. Holy crap. Okay. Okay, we need the uh, stuff to shoot six. And you know, six six sided dice. Ooh, okay. That was blasty. Spider cooking. Oh, quit up, of course. We need it now. So the hollow bomb. And spider cooking. So no no free free boxes so far. But of course it's you know, we are decimating, so I don't uh, want to be like uh What's the word in English, damn it? Ooh! We can do stuff. Mm-hmm. And curse. And uh, this one? No. And curse and this one. Which is the... Uh, the chorer. Yes! So now we are... Blasting, you know, dice and Eldritch Horror, so... We are almost playing Call of Tulu. Okay, Call of Tulu uses, like, 10-sided die, but... It doesn't matter. I mean, it uses all, all the polyhedral stuff, but mainly 10-sided, so... It's not a perfect joke, but... You know... You gotta appreciate the effort, I guess. <laughs> this The CEO's tears is just, you know... Getting shot in a... Uh, in a single line. <laughs> it's just extremely, extremely stupid looking. In a good way. Okay, get the anvil. Uh, da da da, hold a bomb, sure. Okay. Awesome. So we are getting extreme amount of levels. I am just, you know, hunting for a last stamp so I can finally blast six six pieces of dice. And uh, everything's going to be like We are we are going in a full circle. Oh yes. Here we go. No. Almost uh, screwed up. No, okay, it's, it's that's the max. That's the maximum, so, you know, ev every stamp is a maximum. So, we cannot shoot like six. We can only shoot like five. Okay. Okay, now the, you know, the effects are getting a little bit overwhelming. But it doesn't matter. Increased chance of critical hits caused by this weapon. Chance to slow targets, chance to cause explosion. Uh, you know what? Let's swap this one. Because, as we know, we need crit. Crit is our best friend. So no explosions, but uh, more crit. Okay, here's the last one. So crit is also maxed out. No special. Wow, that was that was a surprise. Let's kill the battery-looking guy. Where are those pills? Wait a second. Pretty sure someone already told me. Weapon attacks heals a random amount. No, I don't think so. Let's sell it. Speed up. Yes. Ooh, cool. This is a really nice, really nice combination, in my opinion. Use the special. <laughs> this is extremely stupid. Which is good. Extremely stupid is always good. Ooh. Blue flame, guys. Awesome. Okay, let's sell this one. So now, if I see a uh, anvil, I'm going to increase the damage of my main weapon or or something. I don't think that we need more weapons right away. So okay, we have like three more minutes to have fun. 
Uh, you know what to reroll. Uh, cost, uh, yes. Okay, blast it. Awesome. Does someone have, like, you know, sensitivity to epilepsy? Well, I really hope that uh, you will, you know, uh, skip this part or just stop the video because it's getting kind of out of hand with the special. Wow, okay. Reduced by uh, more. Some special again. So now special is like constant. Great one. Okay, not constant, but we can get it really, really fast. It's just extremely cool. But no sake this time. Oh, wait, wait, this, here's the bomb, here's the bomb. No, no, no. I really hope that I can take it down because I really don't want... Oh, okay, cool. Okay, it wasn't even close. Credit card. Uh, holo glow stick. I almost had holo stick, but... No, that's not a holo stick. Uh, yep. So wait, it's just... Oh, it only... It's only four. Okay, so we are blasting four dice. Oh, okay. I got too excited. Never mind. I forgot how to count. Speed up. Yes. Whew. Wow. Okay, get the anvil. Run. Wow, how, how far is this? Okay, cool. So I would say... Wait, so I... Uh... Okay, so the normal ones cannot be enchanted, only the other ones. Okay, so, um, ba 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 ba. How about. Yes. And once again. Yes, awesome. Okay, get this one. Stuff is ready, and I really hope that we can. Oh, okay, let's sell this. Um, we can, you know, like, uh, load it back when the main enemy comes. I just want to upgrade my main weapon. Because why not? Okay, two successes, plus two. Cool. So, is the critical hit is increasing, like, the damage we're doing? Oof. Okay, we can... Okay, so now we can use a special, like, Every, I don't know, 30 seconds, yes, increase damage, uh, increase damage, I don't think we should get the, I mean, you know, upgrade the researcher's gloves, not gloves, glasses, okay, let's sell this, extremely cool glow stick, Another one. Uh, we, we won't have a special. Oh boy. We need some. Yeah, oh, oh, oh come on. Go, go out, go out. Thank you. So let's run and uh, wait for her. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's flying upside down. Come on. But the thing is, that's. Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, uh huh. Okay, so we have to be careful. Damn it. We need food. Any food left? here yes food please no but XP uh, increase weapon attack speed by oh yes we need this we need this go away yes oh that was close oh man this is extremely awesome so main menu okay no no new achievements uh, but before, you know, uh, stage 3, let's go and uh, maybe maybe we should get some set upgrades, crit some crit up, maybe, just, you know, to tip the scales, 
uh, a little bit. Uh, yes, the outfit. Okay, we got food as well and go to the spookiest castle ever with the Tetris music. Okay. Take down the statue and the chipmunks. And now let's not run into the wall. How about this? Okay. Ooh, many, many of these are here. We are going to... Oh, no, no, I ran into the walls again. No. I hate this. Why, why am I doing this? Am I blind to something? Red and G. Ooh, we have a stamp already. Cool start. Maybe I was a bit too eager to jump into the level, but we will have this, no problem. Okay, so let's uh, blast some uh, things, play dice. So now we have some explosions. Uh, critical hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, nice food. Uh, play dice. Overwhelming uh, stuff. Play dice. No, no. So let me know in the comments, please, because I am getting a little bit frustrated about this. Am I the only one who's running into the walls because I cannot see where the walls are here on this level, or anyone else is having this problem? So maybe it would be nice to have some like a. Uh, you know, a uh, outline or, or whatever on the wall, so you won't run next to it, you won't run into it. And if, you know, I am the only one who's doing it well, um, going to, you know, swallow my pride and say that I am just a uh, an idiot here, or uh, I am not learning from my mistakes, but it's just kind of annoying. Maybe that was intentional, I'm not sure. But, uh, having some problems. Okay, let's uh, blast the elite. Okay. Critical. What is this? Okay. Ooh. Haha, okay. Uh, should we get the speed up now? Yeah, why not? Seems like uh, it's going to be, you know, utilized really well. Since there are a lot of enemies are coming and uh, I tend to get overwhelmed by just running into the walls. I'm getting more excited every single day because, you know, Spooktober, the official one, not the pre one that we are having right now. Uh, with my good friends, uh, we have a uh, chat that is called Pre Spooktober Lobby or Waiting Room. And every time, uh, you know, it's like midnight of October the 1st, we renamed uh, the chat to Official Spooktober Chat Room. Uh, uh, maybe it's, uh, you know, it's a cheap move, but chicken feather immediately because uh, I feel like that's going to be some some hot situations here. So yeah, we, we named the chat immediately to official Spooktober chat and we spam uh, like a whole month. I, I, I'm not a big fan of gifts, not a big gift user, but in October uh, we always blast those uh, spooky, scary skeleton gifts every single time, and there's our, you know, like Anthem is the spooky, scary skeleton uh, song, but there's a uh, more like not not bass boosted, but it's like a uh, really pompy version, and there's a ten hour version, so we blast it like every single day. It's extremely cool. I remember when I worked for my first first job, uh, I was a uh, store manager in a board game store. And when it was October, I blasted. So th there should be like music, uh, you know, keep on playing on the store. And it was always chill hop. So like uh, to have like a chill, uh, you know, like environment when you are browsing board games and whatever. But on October. Uh, I always blasted the spooky scary skeletons 10 hours uh, blasting mix and uh, I remember that my my dear colleagues said after like 
three or four days that we do we do love you but could you turn this off or we will you know confiscate your your computer <laughs> so yeah it was like you know blasted it in normal amounts but um you know it's just uh it's just my anthem in in september and october as well and in november of course because there is like the pre-spooktober, the spooktober, and the spooktober after party, which in which is in like November. So, Ooh. Okay, so we are getting. Oh, this is the laugh that uh, they were talking about in the comments. Okay, now I hear it in the track. Awesome, awesome little suspensey stuff. So I have to say this character is extremely awesome. It's officially, uh, now, you know, I always say that I need more uh, experience to say uh, on a character, but I do say now that she's officially my new favorite character. And uh, it would be kind of hard to find someone or some, some other character, uh, but maybe, we will see, we will see. But the dice throwing thing is just, extremely strong and you like the the nice movement speed the amount of projectiles and, and you know that's just the whole whole stuff so i really hope that if i'm going to check some videos uh about her i'm going to feel the same and uh you know i officially have my uh, favorite whole life vtuber for a while of course at least okay let's fire additional uh, stuff use the special yes okay another ever since uh yes i think the uber sheep is a good idea okay so now i'm not going to sell the size increase projectile stuff awesome now we have we have everything i i, I think we need so extremely cool uh, increase attack power. Um, pa, 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 pa. No, let's uh, let's max this out for first. You know, I'm also pretty excited because tomorrow is the official day when the Pathfinder action roguelike game is coming out in early access. So I am, you know, not not sure what's the exact hour when it's uh, dropping, but you can accept. A video about it tomorrow and on Friday and based on the poll we will do a uh, seems like it's going to be the council RPG so on uh, on Saturday uh, we're going to blast the council RPG and after that uh, not sure but uh, we're going to alternate between uh, whole cure in the Pathfinder game and uh, I'm pretty sure that the you know the console JRPG is going to be a blast so uh, maybe it's going to cover most of the most of the topics on the channel of course there are still some games I have to cover because I've got some uh, you know requests from the devs and uh, I have a really really tight schedule on games I have, I just you know really enjoyed blast and trying out a new game is always the really exciting thing but when you have like a few games that you are tend to blast uh, you know just bandage uh, you tend to blast it's really hard to open up for a new possibility like uh, for example I am doing a, a lot of curse of the dead gods uh, while I'm not making uh, a video but I, yesterday I started a uh, Let's Play series of Curse of the Dead Gods. So if you like uh, Hades, like, uh, you know, roguelite action RPGs, that's some randomness, cool Mayan, a steak themed uh, labyrinth crawling, uh, I would, you know, highly recommend to check out the game and the video. And I'm also doing a giveaway to celebrate the, the 300 like mark. Uh, that we reached so I'm giving away one copy of uh, Curse of the Dead Gods uh, The giveaway is going until Saturday, I guess. Yeah, I said Saturday, so it's going to be going on Saturday and uh, The only thing you need is to comment 
on the community post and also you have to have steam that's the that's the only stuff so like drop lava on the ground should we increase damage is multiplied by lose critical chance no we don't want to lose critical chance come on uh lava buckets How about the stuff okay some more lava buckets awesome Okay, no, no, I don't want to run into the wall again. Okay. So yeah, it seems like that uh, stuff is uh, coming together really nicely, channel-wise, and I really hope that the transition one is going to kind of open up the channel for more people, because I do know that uh, many of the people don't like to, you know, don't like channels in general that when someone uh, you know does not show its face or their face sorry or you know just having like a straight out gameplays without any visual stuff so that's going to change but I'm not going to show my face because I don't I mean I'm pretty confident about myself but the thing is that I do know that showing your face as a real person has a better chance to turn someone away from your specific ch from, from a specific channel because you know you cannot be a person that everyone likes or most of the people you know like because you have like a hair style I don't like you have a whatever I like, clothes I don't like you have a beard I don't like you have a whatever you I don't like and uh, you know I just uh, really don't want to um, take any chances with this because I do do enjoy uh, doing this channel a lot and I don't want to jeopardize what we have already here but it's going to be a visual edition uh, see the stuff uh, but it's not going to my real face of course uh, I love a bucket I started a different channel, so this is my second channel uh, that I started on YouTube. Uh, that was another one where it was uh, originally it was music related, but I mixed uh, my fondness for RPGs with uh, metal music, and uh, I've done some some stuff with uh, you know game game inspired metal, like I you know took the dialogues from for example Pathfinder uh, Kingmaker and I made them into a song for specific characters I used uh, you know the voice lines from Hades to make some metal tracks about it and uh, you know it's pretty cool but um, as far as I you know know that and I experienced that making new music every single week or like you know every second or third day was kind of tolling and uh, when I started that channel I uh, was a transition between my main jobs and uh, I had a little bit more free time than now so it was a really cool thing I really enjoyed it and uh, you know taught me a lot about YouTube what not to do of course and uh, I transitioned kind of transition channel into like a gameplay one but we played different type of games I mostly played RPGs uh, and ARPGs and uh, like MMOs and you know it was cool but it was really scattered so when I decided to blast blast the channel that is uh, mainly about gaming or you know purely about gaming uh, I was thinking, what should uh, what should be the common team? So like, okay, gaming, but gaming is a pretty it's a pretty scattered topic by itself. So I'm going to play only RPGs. No, that's that's not going to happen. Am I going to play only whatever games? Okay, that's not going to happen. And then uh, I got my uh, you know trusty notebook, and uh, I just wrote down all the games. I really like, I really like to blast, and I was looking for something that is common. 
And the other thing I was able to find, but it was, you know, like a almost instant realization that, man, the game I'm playing has 99% indie titles, so um, why wouldn't I make an indie game focused channel where I blast games, I do gameplays and, uh, you know, just have fun. It's, you know, much less effort and I, you know, don't want to belittle the whole process, but it's a uh, a smaller effort. It uh, needs, you know, like last time and uh, ideas to blast and making uh, new music every like three days, so every 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 week. And uh, you know, you know, it find found that uh, doing this brings me extreme amount of joy and. Uh, with my schedule, with my works and all the other stuff, it just fits really well. And the uh, thing is that I started the channel 2022 October. October f yeah, I, I, the thing is, my first video uh, was up uh, on October 31th, so you know, the October Halloween night. So, um, the channel is going to be like one years old now, really soon. Okay, it's relatively soon. It's more than a month now. And uh, for first, I was extremely sure that uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. I, I do videos. There will be some, you know, some people who's going to like it. And but that's it. I wasn't expecting anything serious. But I do. I you know wanted to keep it up, and I never stopped for like more than a week or something. And yeah, it turned out that uh, playing games, just, you know, finding some games that uh, people like uh, at the right time, the right place, uh, can do really cool stuff. So, fan beam and this one, and dragon fire. Here we go. Okay, maybe that was not the best uh, way to combo, but uh, why not? So, like some fiery, fiery dice throwing is uh, going on. Uh, let's get the. Just bandage. So let's uh, let's do some some safeness here. Ooh, okay, so um, you know, let's spinny stuff that we didn't do last time. Books, more books. Okay, cool. Grab the anvil, and uh, should we like you know? Let's bump up the the book. Yeah. Say it, it's like I don't know. Still, still pretty surreal to think about this. That, and then I know that 300 subscribers is not huge. It's huge amount because there are channels with like you know thousands of uh, subscribers, hundreds of thousands of uh, million subscribers. But you know they they're doing it much longer. They usually do much more mainstream stuff. And it's really great to see that you know indie games are getting much stronger every single day. I would say maybe a little exaggeration, but you know every let's say every month, uh, the demand for indie games are getting bigger and bigger. And every time you know big big titles are kind of failing because uh, I'm pretty sure we can say that that they are failing. Um, more and more people are going to, you know, face towards indie games. Okay, maybe I should, I should try this. I do remember that uh, yesterday, I guess, or, or some, yeah, yesterday I watched a video, uh, Asmon talking about uh, Starfield, and uh, maybe it was a suggestion from someone, or maybe it was his idea. I'm not sure, but uh, he said that every every AAA, quote unquote, AAA game I play for every. Triple A game I play here in the channel. Maybe I should try out. Uh, let's reroll. Uh, Psycho X. Uh, so you know maybe I should uh, do 10, 10 different. Oh, super super chat time. Targets drop one hundred percent, one hundred and fifty percent more holo coin or uh, picked automatically. Wow. Permanently gain one percent attack. Ooh, that's brutal. Okay, so uh, I discovered that uh, super chat time is uh, not just giving you money; it's giving you one percent attack every hundred coins you get. Uh, 
so yeah, he he said that for every every AAA game I I try I play, I should try ten ten other indie games, and uh, everyone was the most most of the viewers and also I am uh, was pretty positive about this, and I, I would say that it's a really really good thing because you know let's face it, I uh, discovered Holocure through Asmon's video, and uh, Asmon has a really nice reach, a really really nice reach, and. Uh, he played a crucial part, um, you know, I know that the community is extremely big, so I don't want to overestimate his part on the success of this game, but, uh, you know, uh, he, he put, he put uh, the game on the, on the scope really nicely. Uh, we, we cannot deny this. So he helped with uh, uh, Holes of Torment's success as well. So, uh, he's a pretty controversial and polarizing figure, but uh, he has an extremely nice reach, he understands video games really well, and uh, yeah, he, he plays video games as his job for like, I don't know how many years now, so it's it's extremely cool. Uh, he has like a PC company, whatever, so uh, it's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty good way that... Uh, He's leaning towards uh, indie games and uh, trying to boost the reach of reach of indie games. So I do think that's an extremely cool one. And you know, I, for example, I was the first time when I made a video about Hulkure, I was like, oh man, this is an extremely cool game. And I know that the the VTuber scene is pretty popular. So you know, I expected like. 500 views tops and uh, I was like okay if I got 500 views on my video I would like oh man that's extremely cool it was a good idea oops let's let's get a revive it's nice that we got some uh, feathers um, did it, did it, okay let me water uh, it's go and I'm going to be extremely happy and uh, then you know the video has uh, started to be like Extremely cool. Uh, which one? Psycho X BL. Yeah, that's the the tier. No B. Yeah, the BL Fujoshi Endless uh, BL. How shameless. So now we are spinning, uh, you know, blue stuff and red stuff together. Just bandage. Now I am just focusing on uh, you know survival. And I I would say this is uh, this is going to be my most. Uh, Progressful video in the, the most successful, like taking down three levels in a row uh, for the next next challenge. Let's call this a challenge. I would try to blast all four, uh, you know, uh, levels or stages uh, in a row with another character. But you know, I didn't want to have like too big of a scope, and it's, this video is going to be more than an hour now, so. Maybe no one is going to watch it because it's too long. I don't know, but this character is just extremely cool. So yeah, he's he's extremely knowledgeable and uh, doing cool stuff. And yeah, I, I was talking about the whole my first whole cure video. So I thought that okay, 500 views maybe, and uh, I am I'm going to be very happy. And now the video is around 5,000. I was like, holy, you know, whatever. I never thought that this is going to be that uh, popular, and uh, most of my new subscribers came thanks to the game. And uh, you know, I'm just extremely, extremely grateful that I was able to find this on the great time, on the great time, and I'm also enjoying it tremendously. But of course, uh, the trends are, the trends are trends. They are, so you know, the trends are kind of you know it is what it is so you you can hate them you can accept them yes we banish the horror of stage 3 who that was pretty exciting uh, my fingers are pretty numb so yeah without any doubt Boyas is my new favorite character so I'm just going to uh, go here. Uh, let's see what's the you know the other the other costume costs like uh, 
15 tiers, so I'm just going to blast all of my coins. Maybe we I have the stuff. No. Nope. Uh, and, you know, blast five more. So yeah, it's going to be the pity system, but it doesn't matter because she's extremely awesome. So get this one. Yay, we got the other costume as well. And it's also rank up. Looks extremely cool as well. Yeah, so I would say what a blasty video. It was a really, you know, progressful stuff. If you like the channel or the content of the channel or whatever, please consider subscribing. Give a nice thumbs up to the video so it's getting, you know, around more. And what else? I can say, you know, thank you for the 300, guys. You're extremely cool. And, you know, I'd literally like to have what you have on bias for me. You know, lore, what should I look for? Videos to check out, whatever. Yeah, that was, uh, that was it for today. See you really soon.